Hello everybody. In this lesson we're going to be learning about creating and displaying surface profiles with offsets in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll create a surface profile from an existing surface. After creating the profile and several offsets you'll create a profile view to display the profiles. Go ahead and open up your profile-2a drawing in your tutorials folder. The drawing contains an existing ground surface and two alignments. Let's examine the alignments. The red one with curves is named Ridge Road and represents a proposed road center line. And now the other is named Power Line and represents a proposed power line offset about 25 feet from the road. Now go to your Home tab, go to your Create Design panel, and click on Profile. Click Create Surface Profile. Now in the Create Profile from Surface dialog box, under the Alignment, select Ridge Road. Then we're going to add the existing surface to our ridge road. Now make sure the sample offsets checkbox is checked. Now enter 25 comma negative 25. Now this field enables you to specify that profiles be created on either side of the center line. The left offset, which is negative 25, will mark the approximate location of the power line. If you wanted more offsets, you could enter a series of them here. Use positive numbers for right offsets and negative numbers for left offsets with values separated by commas. Go ahead and click Add. Now let's open our dialog box up just a little bit more. Now in the profile list, under the description column, type in the following descriptions. For the first one, we're going to name that center line. For the next, we're going to name that right offset because it's positive. And then for the negative offset, we're going to type left offset. Now in the Update Mode column, update the left offset to Static. This option specifies that the left offset reflects the surface elevation at the time of its creation. It will not update to reflect future changes in the surface. Go ahead and click OK. A message that indicates profiles have been created is displayed in the Event Viewer. Let's go ahead and check the event. Now go to your Home tab. Next go to the Profile and Section Views panel. Click on the Profile View drop-down and select Create Profile View. In the Create Profile View wizard on the General page, select our alignment for Ridge Road. Next, click Profile Display Options. The table on the Profile Display Options page shows the existing profiles for Ridge Road, and by default they're all checked in the Draw column, indicating that they will appear in the Profile view. Let's open up our wizard just a little bit more so we can see more information. Now in the Specify Profile Display Options table, in the Style column, double-click the cell for the left offset. In the Pick Profile Style dialog box, change the style to Existing Ground, then click OK. Now click the Label Style for the left offset and select None. Click OK. Now for this example, you won't create labels for existing ground profiles. 
you'll specify a label set when you create a layout profile. Now repeat steps 6 and 7 for the other two profiles. Click Create Profile View. Now in the drawing, pan and zoom to a blank area at the lower right of the surface. Click a suitable location for the lower left corner of the profile view grid. The profile view is now drawn with a grid, axis, title, and two data bands along the x-axis. One above the grid and the other below it as you can see right here. Now note if you want to move a profile view within a drawing, click anywhere on the grid. To select it, a blue grip appears at the lower left corner. Click the grip and drag the profile view to a new location. So you now know how to go about creating and displaying surface profiles with offsets in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.